Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgie, and this is a band called Sky Harbour. Um, Sky Harbour were brought to my attention by an email I got from Commuter Oscarfish saying these were Baby Metal's support act for North America. Um, so as I did for Dream State, which are the support in the Netherlands, um, I thought, yeah, let's, let's, let's give them a whiz, why not? It's always interesting, isn't it? So some other people, as it happens, also asked me to look at Sky Harbour a month ago. Um, O2 Kaminari uh, asked me, but maybe for completely different reasons, because they, they didn't mention that they were going to be Baby Metal's um, support, so maybe they're just a fan. And then Rizzler2112 um, mentioned a day ago in the comments that that uh, Sky Harbour were going to be Baby Metal's support, so everyone's kind of picked up on this and, and told me. So I had links to different songs from different people. Commuter gave me a different song to the one I'm going to play, which is Blindside. Um, and the only reason I haven't done the one that Commuter uh, recommended was that when I called up the YouTube video, the first comment, I think it was underneath it, I don't tend to read the comments, but I couldn't miss it. It was right there at the top. <laughs> excuse me, something floating past me, so, uh, somebody said that the singer must have been having an off day. It was a live recording and they were saying he must have been having an off day. So I didn't want to use that because because I haven't seen it, so I don't know what he's like, but I didn't want to be a poor representation if if it was just one live video that, that he was having an off day. So I, it's not fair of me to do that. So some other people recommended Blindside and this is the one I'm going to do. It doesn't seem to be off an album. I can't find an album with it on. I think it's just a, a single on its own. And Sky Harbour are kind of an interesting band because uh, I, I called up the wiki on them and uh, they're basically from India, or specifically, let's have a look, uh, New Delhi and Mumbai and Cleveland, Ohio in, in the US. Um, so how they met, <laughs> <laughs> don't know, but they're, maybe they've all moved to the US, the US now if they're going to be the US support for Baby Metal. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they've been described as like prog metal. Um, so as I say, I've not seen this video. Um, it's an official video. It's live, but it's an official video. So how actually live it is, I don't know. Like I say, I've not seen it. So let's give them a go. Um, it's always interesting to see who's going to support big bands, I think, and especially one as unique as Baby Metal. So, uh, yeah, let's find out together. Pardon me while I plug myself in. I can try and click the right button.
So, blimey, I wasn't expecting that. For someone who looks so metal, I mean, every penny this guy earns must go on tattoos. He's got a kind of a, he's got a fantastic voice, but he's got a delicate voice. Just full of, full of like overwrought emotion kind of thing. But those high notes are so are so clear and so clean. I know this is not live, you know, I know it's recorded in a studio and you can have a hundred goes at it, but if you gave me a hundred goes at it, I wouldn't hit any of those notes. So yeah, wow. If a lot of their songs are like this, I mean live that's gonna sound a lot. It's gonna sound bigger and it's gonna sound probably heavier because things live tend to. But if a lot of the songs are like that, I wonder if Baby Metal's fans will be patient enough for the songs to grow because Baby Metal songs tend to be instant and kind of just smack you between the eyes, don't they? But I tell you what, I would go and see them. I'd go and see them regardless of who they were supporting or, frankly, if they were headlining. I feel all calm. <laughs> it's kind of like, like, it kept making me want to shut my eyes. I shut my eyes at the beginning because the video is not the video of them doing this song, is it? It's just a video of them playing live. So I was getting slightly distracted um, because I was paying so much attention, trying to marry up the two. So I shut my eyes so I could just hear the song and listen to the, I was trying to listen to the timing of it because I was trying to work out what the, what the time signature was because they've not taken the easy route and they've not gone we'll just hit it all in 4-4 and just uh, bang out a song you know which is probably why you hear the, the prog leanings to it um, later on much later on towards the end of the song you know they actually pulled out some um, prog metal sort of tropes really in, in, in the music which I love I would listen to that. In fact, I you know I would listen to that on its own, regardless of whether they were supporting baby metal or not. That's just that's that's just the reason that they're here. That people introduced them to me. Though I'm not sure about uh, the first person that introduced them to me a month ago, um, because I don't think they would have known that they were supporting baby metal at that time. Um, but um, the, you know, the reason it's been introduced to me is that they're supporting baby metal. But 
that aside, in their own right, I really liked it. Really liked it. Doesn't matter whether you're supporting anyone or you're on your own, does it? And one thing that did strike me though, and I've no idea how big venue, how big large the venues are that Sky Harbor usually play, but in that video, they're playing to like two hundred people in this little little tiny venue, and I thought, wow, you're in for a shock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but maybe not. Maybe they play bigger places. In you know, I don't know. Do I? I don't know anything about them. But if, they, if you know, if they normally play places that big, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Walk out on stage, <laughs> thousands of people. I really like that. I really like that. Looking at the live video, taking the song out of it because the two were not the same thing. Um, it looks like they do get a bit more, they get a bit busier because they were jumping around the stage a bit in some places and so they probably have faster, more intense parts to their music. Because I just wonder about the, I know it's all just business and marketing and everything that gets bands, whether you're on the right label or whatever. Though back in 2016 when this was done, they were on Bandcamp, they weren't on a label, so Maybe they've just been signed and boom, you're on the stage with Baby Metal. But uh, I've forgotten what I was saying. Brilliant. Lost me thread completely then. But anyway, good luck to them. I really enjoyed that song. Um, yes, Baby Metal. That, I think I've picked up the thread I dropped. Um, baby Metal, to me, is very instant. You know, it comes out of the gates. Bang! Go! Da, 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 da. Boom, boom, boom. When music comes in, it's really heavy and massive production, and boom, 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 boom. There's, it doesn't, it doesn't build up baby metal, does it? It goes from zero to a hundred miles an hour in 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 you know zero point zero seconds. Whereas this kind of music builds and has nuance that that takes time. Um, so yeah, I wonder about that. But from a business point of view, it's just exposure, isn't it? It's not necessarily finding something that goes together or something that that, that sets you up for the main event or anything. So it's just exposure for the band. And uh, yeah, Sky Harbor, Blindside, not on an album as far as I can tell. They're, they do have albums out. Um, the link to this video will be below. And from there, you can get the link to Bandcamp or iTunes. Um, but yeah, I liked it. Mm. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.